Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we let the admin add products uh, in the database and uh, over here you can see this is a product table. I also added some more uh, data in the product table. Now in this tutorial, we are going to show all those uh, data from the product table over here. Uh, so let's go back to our code and all the product images is actually coming from home.blade.php uh, if you go a little bit down you can see that uh, we included user.product over here so it means all the product uh, details is actually coming from uh, over here you can see user folder and there is product.blade.php so all the image details is coming from product.blade.php so let's go over here and over here you can see that uh, a lot of images uh, title then uh, description review okay so we are going to uh, remove all of them we will just keep only on so uh, over here you can see that uh, deep class call md4 so the images uh, uh, start from this class so we will remove from here we will just uh, keep the last one so we will remove up until this point so we will just uh, keep this last one so this div end over here so let's save it control s and if we refresh now you will see only on images over here okay so how we are going to get all the data from this table is really simple let me just show you this is our root view right now if we go to our web.php and over here you can see our root i mean the slash uh, we are actually calling the home controller index function over here so let's go to home controller and if you go to home controller you can see over here the index function and over here you can see the return view user dot home so we are actually returning that uh, home view from here so we just need to add over here uh, we first need to declare a variable uh, let's say over here dollar data you can declare any variable you want but normally i prefer dollar data so we will say dollar data is equal to we need to say the uh, table name which was product then we will give uh, double clone over here then all so what will happen is that uh, all the product data will be stored or uh, value will be stored in this dollar data variable so and uh, in order to send the uh, data dollar data to uh, to this product page we just need to give a comma over here we will say over here compact then inside this first bracket uh, we will give two single quotation and then we will say data so now we are able to uh, send the all the product data uh, to this user dot home page now there is one more thing uh, is that we need to add the product model over here uh, so just like user so let me just copy it and uh, let's paste the product model we will say app slash model slash we will say over here product so now we will be able to get all the product data in this uh, home controller so if we save it and uh, now we can go to our product.blade.php and over here uh, we will first say over here at the rate of uh, let me just say over here at the rate of for each for each we will say dollar data as let's say dollar product and this for each will end over here so let's say over here at the rate of end for each so now uh, we are mentioning a dollar data as dollar product so first of all in order to get the title over here we will we need to give two second bracket over here then we need to say over here dollar we will say over here dollar product then this arrow sign uh, we need to say over here title uh, if you go to our uh, over here this my admin you can see we have the title name is title price description then there is image name is image okay so we are going to do the uh, everything like this we will do the image part later let's just uh, do it for the text first so let's give the second bracket let's say our hair dollar product this one is for price so let's say our hair price uh, let me just copy this and we'll keep this dollar sign before okay and over here you can see the description we'll remove this and we'll paste it over here 
and we'll see our head product it will be description description so if we now save it control s okay one more thing uh, we are just going to remove this uh, review part because we don't require review so now let's save it and if we refresh our hair now you can see that t-shirt shirt jeans uh, kids wear all the data we entered or we have in the product table now we will change the image over here now you already saw in the previous tutorial that we save all the image inside our public folder public product image folder here you can see that the images over here if you click it you can see it so uh, in order to show the image we have to uh, mention the folder name over here so over here you can see the folder name is product image we, so we will see over here product image you need to give this slash over here sometime it may create problem if you don't give it so again we will say over here product then we just need to say over here the image product image so if we save it now and if we refresh we will see all the images over here so you can see that all the images is over here now the thing is uh, the image size is a bit too big so let's just adjust their size let's uh, give the height and width over here let's over here height uh, let's say 300 and let's say width uh, it will be on 50 so save it and if we refresh okay this is a little bit smaller i think this is good enough not too bad and not too big now uh, this is for the uh, root view now now if the user login then it will give us a error uh, let me just show you let's uh, login by the user then let's give the password over here and if you click login uh, it will so show us a error that undefined variable dollar data because we are actually uh, returning uh, the same view for the login user so what we have to do is that uh, if you go to uh, over here web.php you can see slash redirects home controller a function name is redirect so let's go to uh, home controller and if you go, uh, go to home controller you can see the function redirect over here and if, if you go down you can see we are actually returning view user dot home actually we are actually uh, sending the same view uh, with over here we are sending a dollar data but over here we didn't so we just have to do the same thing uh, you can just copy it from here so let me just copy it from here and we just uh, paste it over here so control v and uh, one thing uh, you need to make sure that over here our variable is dollar data you need to make sure that uh, the both variable has to be same otherwise you will get a error okay so if you save it now and if you refresh it don't give us any error here you can see that the logged in user can see all the products over here perfectly so there is one more problem uh, is that we are actually showing all the images over here now what if you have hundreds of images are you going to show all of them in the same place obviously not that's not a uh, like good option or good idea we should have a like page option over here that uh, a single page will only contain uh, contain six or seven images anything you wish so for this uh, the process is really simple uh, we just need to say over here instead of all uh, we just need to say over here paginate and inside this first bracket let's say we will have uh, three uh, in a single page and uh, we also then uh, need to change it over here as well so let's say over here paginate uh, it will be three so if we save it now and if we refresh we will see only three images over here not six so here you can see we have only three images but how we are going to see all the uh, other images so we'll have a uh, page option over here so now laravel give us a uh, option uh, easy really easy option show that we can uh, create page uh, in our project so it's really simple just uh, after this in for this loop we just have to uh, say over here uh, we just will declare a div over here and inside this div uh, we'll uh, mention a bootstrap class so we'll say over here class is equal to d minus flex 
then justify 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 then minus content minus center and inside this uh, we will give a second bracket and we will give this sign uh, I don't remember what this sign call uh, please let me know in the comment section what this sign call actually we will say over here dollar uh, dollar and over here you can see dollar data right we need to mention this dollar data not product okay this dollar data then a arrow sign will say over here link we also need to write two more line of code uh, for pagination so for this we need to go to app then providers you can see over here app service providers so over here let me just copy it uh, and we'll paste it over here we'll say over here uh, illuminate it will be backslash we need to write over here pagination backslash uh, paginator paginator so let's save it and uh, f will be capital letter uh, sorry okay so after this we need to go down over here and inside this boot capital paginator then this double clone will say over here use bootstrap then this first bracket okay so let's save it control s uh, now if we refresh now and uh, if we go down you can see a page option over here if you click to it will take us to second page over here you can see with different image so this is all for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial we will let the admin uh, we'll have the admin uh, see all the images that uh, we have in the product and admin will be able to update and delete them as well okay and we will add the uh, add to cart option over here but uh, it will be on the later tutorial so thank you very much for watching and if you have any problem or face any problem then let me know in the comment section because i will surely reply back and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, because then you will get the notification of the future content very easily and uh, i hope you uh, find this tutorial really easy and thanks for watching again